The NFL on EA Sports has come to the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. The scene a short time ago, this crowd decked out in purple, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football, folks, as the Vikings get set to do battle with the Kansas City Chiefs. Taken in the end zone. Across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. At their own 21 yard line. On first and 10, Cousins. And he's got the hook up here. It's Kyle Rudolph. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Gain of 21 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I will see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He's going to get this one down the court. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a first down on a gain of 10. As a passer, he always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. A first down throw for Cousins. That'll be complete to Cook. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going to the passing game, that should open up his run running game too. Line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Again it's Cousins. And Rudolph has it the tight end. And he's taken down but not before reaching the 10 yard line. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Our game not even two minutes old but a quick red zone opportunity. They've got a first and 10 from the 10. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Working out of the gun, Cousins. His pass caught at the four. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Vikings take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Bailey really got the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Holmes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. Here's Mahomes to throw. Steps away to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. A gain of five brings up second and five. At the Throwing point. now is Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. There to knock that one away defensively, Eric Kendricks. I have a few questions about that throw because to me, there just wasn't a lot there. I thought he tried to do a little bit too much, almost tried to will a receiver open when there was no chance he was going to be. Nice job by the linebacker being all over that one and knocking it away. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. The completion there winds 
lines up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They do go for it. It's Mahomes. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. That good for 22 and a first down. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead, because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg, and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Chris Jones in there for the sack on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. From the gun, here's Cousins. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. To throw is Cousins. Being chased at left. He can run. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. And it's good at 14 nothing. Makes the score. Vikings, 14. Chiefs, nothing. Dan Bailey. To kick Bailey it now to kick it away after the touchdown. Brought out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. First and 10. The Chiefs offense are not set to begin this drive. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit. 14-0 to score as they regroup with first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. To a back across his body. Picked up. Harrison Smith. So that now two consecutive drives that have ended in interceptions. You wonder if he's trying to do a little too much out there. Oh, I like where you're going with that, that maybe he's pressing it a little bit, trying to be too fine with his throws, or maybe overestimating his arm. It could be a combination of all of those things. In any event, he's got to get it figured out and in a hurry. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throwing Cousins. Johnson with a completion over the middle. 20, 10, touchdown, Vikings. B.C. Johnson, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. It is now 21 to nothing. It is good. Makes the score Vikings 21. Chief Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Tyreek Hill on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the five yard. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. 19 yards there on the catch and run. First down. Now here's Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll pull it down. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. 
He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Eight-yard pickup. And a first down, Chiefs. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. Incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10. That's the reason we bought for circle round twice for the So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes flushed out right. Looking downfield for Kelsey. Misfires again and it's intercepted. This is the NFL on EA Sports as we welcome you to MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Minnesota Vikings. For the longtime Panther Graham Gano has his set for his start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. on first down setting up the screen for Cook and he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of 8 complete to Dalvin. a good safe pass there right off the bat that's almost a rhythm play that's what we like to call it get them into rhythm early something safe something they're confident about something they feel good and once that's completed then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. A little glimpse of his athleticism there and what they're going to have to deal with. He can use his legs to dance around back behind the line of scrimmage and beyond the line of scrimmage. And wouldn't you love to get a copy of their defensive scouting report going into the week? Because that's been stressed the whole time. Keep him bottled up. Keep him in the pocket. But it's the first drive of the game and emotions are running high. Someone forgot that, trying to make a big play and gave up a bigger one instead. Another nice gain. 16 yards there at a first down again. Cousins, eluding the pressure right. He gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. He was out there waving his arms. I mean, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Minnesota. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now Cousins. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A five-yard touchdown. And the Vikings take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. Makes the score, Vikings 7, Giants nothing. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Now Deion Lewis to return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 
just shy of the 30. He's back to throw here to start the drive. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Jones to throw on third down. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Anthony Barr. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. The cornerback, it's Logan Ryan who brings him down. But that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. First down, here's Cousins. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And the Vikings are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They'll run with Cook. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second down and goal. Cousins. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Kirk Cousins on the connection to Justin Jefferson. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. The kick is good. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 46. And he'll throw right away. Open target here, Darius Sutton. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Going for it all. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 15-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. 
picked up.